Hey, welcome everyone. It's Pat Mitchell with Trick Trades here. It is January 16th. Uh, what a hot day today in the markets. Uh, we'll go to the SPY here first. This is, uh, you know, after this big run up, and I did say this this morning, uh, as well as in my watch list uh, last night, that uh, the SPY would most likely truck on up to the 280 area and then pull back. And that's exactly what it did, which created a lot of these big red uh, daily candles that we see across the board today. So I want to point out the uh, the trick trades scans. Now this is these are the scans that we have up on screen share. Now a lot of scanners that a lot of people have up um, that they use in their in their chat rooms they they produce thousands and thousands of hits in a day you can't follow that guys that's useless useless information it's uh it can cause over trading it can cause all of that it, it doesn't work right it's it's too much noise so we've developed at trick trades uh, a few scans that are they'll actually make you money now <laughs> that's the thing and that's the difference and that's what it's all about right so i want to point out frc here so FRC, it just happened to uh, come up at a time that I wanted to start looking at some different plays. Now, it basically nailed this this big this big day, uh, heavy volume, very liquid, nice red day on the daily. Uh, so let's go to the intraday and how I traded this. This this was a great play, by the way. So this morning here at 11:30. This popped off, uh, I should say 1129, because it is, it is an alert. And uh, this, this scatter pack package, the, uh, the VWAP slap, this produces uh, pretty well nothing but short ideas. Now, I want to show you something, how many it produced, okay, throughout the day, so that you get an idea that it, there's not just like a million of these uh, alerts that pop up and you don't know which ones to sift through. So this is the top. This is right at the end of the day on AXTA was the last alert. And that's it. These are, oh, that's it. I do want to point that out. And the thing is, I can go through damn near each and every one of these. DVAX, after it reclaimed... It still produced a really nice signal. Uh, FTI, this was another nice one. Perfect. This produced a really nice, big, strong um, uh, rejection. UDA, look at that. Perfect. MGI. Now this is a not quite the most liquid. This would have just hit uh, uh, the volume requirements. Still produced a trade though. MDRX. So you know, I <laughs> just want to show you how how powerful this this scan can actually be. Um, a KBH. This is another really good one. Sure, it went through the VWAP, but you catch it on the lower high, right? And milk it all the way back down for well over a point. Beautiful. So the trade that we took today was FRC. So FRC, the reason why I really like this is that when it opened up, it just kind of chopped. And then it, here, I'll go to the, this is more of the intraday. Uh, so FRC, it really chopped back and forth, and then it, as soon as it kind of ran into the 50 EMA, it dumped and it dumped hard. Okay, this trapped a bunch of longs. Okay, there was there's no real time for them to get out. The ones that were going to, you know, kind of hold on. I want to explain some psychology of it to you guys. This is a nice little nice little piece of uh, uh, information. So okay, when this happens and it dumps out, so longs are in this thinking that it's gonna it's gonna rock up. Okay. First candle hits, it doesn't break lows, right? It just comes to support. They're not worried yet. 
Second candle instantly dumps hard, okay? Now, that's that's a 40-cent rejection, okay? Now they're underwater. Now they're like, now they don't know what to do. So they want to see if this is going to come back, the stubborn ones, okay? Next candle comes up. Bunch of volume. It's a stuffed candle, okay? Once the buyers step aside, boom. Huge dump, over, well over a point. All longs are trapped. The ones that were remaining, they're trapped and they're in trouble, okay? So it didn't give them an opportunity to get out. It really trapped them. So their next idea is they're going to wait to see what it does and look for a bounce to either get it out on or, or what, right? So this faked out a bunch of longs again, okay? Because when it popped up, pulled back, it created... A higher low, which is a bullish signal, comes into VWAP and it rejects because the the longs that were in this are going to use the VWAP as an area to get out. Shorts are going to use it as an area to short. It creates increased selling pressure. The way the V, I love the VWAP. It's a trade that we take all the time at TrickTrades.com. And especially in the trades we're looking for and off of our scanning packages, okay? So amazing, uh, amazing trade. This is how it went down. So I, as soon as I saw this at 11.29, you can see it's, it's right at the VWAP. Plenty of time. I called it out. I said, guys, get a load of FRC. I really like this. Uh, for all the reasons that I just described, described it a little quicker. Plenty of time for all members to jump in um, using their own evaluation from the teaching and, and the education that we provide at Trick Trades. So a lot of people made some money today, and it, it gave you a high risk-reward type of setup. There was, there was no risk on this trade. So you take it at the VWAP. And if it breaks it within, you know, 10 cents or so, you get out. You had 10 cent risk to make well over a point, two points. Okay. And so as soon as this popped up, I called it out. I got short and it just instant resolution too. Now, you got to love instant resolution trades because... It, they, they instantly give you patience in the trade. So it dumps out, dumps out a good 40 point or 40 cents, uh, retraces, and it didn't, it did not have the jam to break over even these highs here, okay, to even test these highs. So I started in, I added here, and I hammered it. Nice, meaty size position, very comfortable. Um, and then again, it just, it just worked and it, it started really trailing this nine EMA. And the only time it really broke it was a little bit here. And usually when they break the nine EMA, if they have any type of strength, they'll re retrace up to the 50 EMA. That's the, these are the only indicators that we use at trick trades. We don't use a bunch of indicators because they're a complete waste of time. These are guides for, for covers and ads. That's all they are. And as soon as it, my, my goal originally was to take some profits at 88. So I had, um, <clears throat> with, with my entry here, that's well over a point. So I took some off at 88 and then I wrote it down all the way to low of day here. And as soon as it broke it and then came back up, I ended up getting out. Uh, I wanted to head into town today, and I didn't want to uh, have to monitor, monitor the position from the road. And I still could have got an extra 30 cents or so on the trade. And if I would have held to the end of the day, it came a little bit lower. Amazing trade. Two points on the trade. Um, <clears throat> I, I mean, I couldn't be happier. People in the room... Um, made money. I made money. That's what Trick Trades is all about. Uh, education and let's 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 kill it. I mean, th this trade couldn't have been any better. 
these scanners, like I said, it they're not your regular scanners that you get from all these rooms, like these mo high of day Momo scanners and stuff that produce like literally, quite literally, thousands of hits. Do I have a high of day momentum scanner? Yeah. And it's, I got it dialed in where it's not, you're not going to get thousands and thousands. And I also have a scanner here, uh, a high of day momentum scanner, this, that produces for high float, medium float, and low float. And the way I have it dialed in, it, it works very, very well. So <clears throat> we also have, I might as well point it out and show you guys what type of scanners they are, these are. Uh, this super duper, super duper fancy ass scanner. That's what I call it. I mean, this scans for everything. I mean, you name it. Um, it scans for it. VWAP slap is exactly that. It'll slap into the VWAP and reject the VWAP bounce. That's to the long side. And this works really, really well as well. And this is the whole number scanner. This will just alert me if if I happen to see some well-known names on it here um, that that we trade quite often. Okay, it's in the whole number. Whole and half dollars are very, very uh, crucial. And the green or the red will indicate whether it's above or below and which way it's moving. So... The scanners, like I said, the trade idea scanners that we use at tricktrades.com, they, they work really, really well. And they can make you some money that are up on screen share all day long uh, for the full market day. So come check us out at tricktrades.com. Come make some money w along with me. And uh, let's do this together. You're going to get the best education in the market as well as... Uh, you'll be able, you'll have the confidence to take these trades yourself. You're not going to just rely on me and wait for me to call something out in the room like a sheep. We don't raise sheep, okay, at trick trades. That's that's not acceptable. You'll never make it. You know, it's uh, you know, if that's something you want, and go to these alert based momo rooms, and you'll you'll just lose your shirt. You'll lose your shirt. You're not going to learn anything. And it's going to be a complete waste of time uh, until you whittle down your count and blow up. So come to tricktrades.com and actually learn something. Um, sign up for either the guidance or the mentoring uh, memberships. And uh, let's kick some ass, people. Adios.